Have you ever looked at a video explainer or an animation and thought to yourself, how do I do that within Final Cut Pro 10? Well, this video is going to be the answer for you because we have a plugin that we're looking at and it's available for you right now. You can find that plugin in a link in the description down below. But not only that, I'm going to show you what this plugin does firsthand. I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to show you the characters. I'm going to show you the background images and what you can apply to these characters, the movements and so forth. It's very exciting. It had me so excited the first time I've touched it. We're going to review the plugin by actually looking at the plugin. Then you can make your judgment in the comment section down below. Rather than me give a rating, you guys can tell me what you think about the plugin or ask me any questions because it's not gonna be the last time that we look at this plugin because it's just that amazing. This plugin is amazing. You will be able to do a lot with this plugin. So without further ado, before I get too excited, we're gonna have a look at this plugin now and we're going to show you firsthand what it does. I'll be delivering a voiceover. You won't see me on screen because I want you to see the interface of Final Cut Pro while we're using this plugin. I'll teach you how to use it. I'll show you what I can do with it and we'll also have a lot of fun with it as well. And that's coming up right now. So welcome to Final Cut Pro 10. As you already know from my introduction, my name is Anthony Allen and in this video we're going to be looking at a plugin called Brightly V3 and you can find that plugin in the description down below. So if you would like to get started with this plugin today, have a look at that description, click that, go straight to the website in Video Hive and you can download that plugin from that developer today. Great guy. Okay, so now here we are in Final Cut Pro 10. A few pointers and a few explanations about this plugin. Number one, there are quite a few elements that you get when you purchase this plugin. Some of that information will be on screen right now. You get backgrounds, you get characters that are customizable, titles, transitions, and more. You also get a library with three project files with pre-made video explainers. In this video, we won't be using those video explainers, but of course they are available to you. And we will be touching upon this plugin again, and I'll be showing you those pre-made video explainers. For now, we're gonna look at some of the characters and some of the animations for these characters that you can use today. And you can also include a voiceover for your character, which will be lip synced and you can auto lip sync it. It's amazing. You can customize your character today on screen with the background, very, very cool. I've had a play around with this plugin and I've learned a lot. When you're using the pre-made templates, the first action that you will be asked on screen when you open it up in Final Cut Pro 10 is if you would like to update your library. This is so that the pre-made plugin can work in your Final Cut Pro 10. The templates, basically the pre-made video explainer and pre-made stories that you can have with this plugin. You will need to update that. Don't click no, you want to click yes and update that project so that it works with your version of Final Cut Pro 10. Also, remember to read the notes of which version of Final Cut Pro 10 this plugin works with. Because if your Final Cut Pro 10 is not compatible you don't want to be going through the issue of downloading the plugin and realizing that it does not work for your version of Final Cut Pro 10. In order to find out what version of Final Cut Pro 10 you are using, you can do it very simply within the user interface. And I'll show you that right now. Bear with me, let's just create the project first. So let's call this Shot Ball Animation. Just like to actually mention that I have created a website called Shopball. Just interject in here before you get into the rest of the tutorial. Shopball is a website in which if you're in the UK, you can find the perfect store for you to buy things based on your budget and your needs. A link for Shopball will be up in the cards right now and you can visit Shopball today. That's my website that I've created to help everybody online. Of course, we're currently in the UK, but we do plan to expand. We've created our project file right now, which is right here. 
our library is called new animation in order to find the characters because that's going to be that's going to be the, one of the main things that we're going to look at today the characters the characters are really interesting we'll see what we can do with these characters in order to find these you can actually go into your titles now you click onto this icon here you will see titles and generators you want to use the drop down here i noticed when i downloaded this plugin it did actually organize my titles and generators which is absolutely brilliant because now i can find what i'm looking for very conveniently and i don't have to mess around too much <laughs> so we can see that in the title section you can see the brightly uh, elements right here these are animations you have backgrounds characters diagrams and bars environment icon sets motion shapes speech bubbles typography and that is absolutely amazing they're available with this plugin now these are the elements that you can find and use and drop in straight away but not only that if you go into your transitions panel you will also see more brightly transitions right here a background is something that you would normally use for if there's text or an element on screen so you're basically explaining something on screen you can preview these by the usual method that I've taught you beforehand you can click on it press spacebar remember that I have a 10 part tutorial series for Final Cut Pro 10 and a brand new one coming to the channel let's drop one on screen so I can explain what I'm talking about just a drag and drop method I used automatic settings so now that I've used automatic settings it automatically sets things to the aspect ratio and the resolution of the element that we're dragging into the timeline first so now everything will be based on that first element so we have a calf we have a beach an airport a bus stop the cinema I love the cinemas a classroom and all of these backgrounds can be edited to suit your colors um, so let's pick one now so we're gonna pick something really cool I'm looking for something like uh, not necessarily a kitchen let's have let's have a look through okay so that's that's the end of our environments so I think the place that we are going to choose the place that we are going to choose is going to be Factory environment, maybe. Boy bedroom. Is it a girl bedroom? <laughs> it's just the boy bedroom. <laughs> okay, I understand that. Let's go for kitchen. Oh, there is a girl bedroom here as well. So let's go through uh, for girl bedroom. Drop that in there. Hover our mouse on top so it populates the preview window. And now I'm actually going to close the inspector because we're not getting to that stage just yet. We're not touching the inspector just yet. We're first getting what we want in our scene. Next, we're going to find a character. Of course, we've got quite a few characters here. Here's where it could start getting really interesting. Okay, so what we've we got, we've got officers, we've got we've got quite a few different characters. We've got chef, groomer, astronaut, SWAT, Mike. <laughs> I wonder if we can change the hairstyles of some of these characters as well. We've got a, is that a ninja? What? We've got a graduate, a king. Uh, what's that? A prison, a prison wall, a prison. Someone in prison. Uh, someone on a motorbike, a doctor. And then it moves on to the female characters. It's pretty cool. So you get quite a few characters there as well. So it's, uh, it's, that's, that's good. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. <laughs> right, so I'm going to select something that I can turn into a version of myself. So I want Anthony Allen in the scene here. We want the closest thing to Anthony Allen. So we have a, a hip hopper. I'm definitely not an officer. A businessman. Uh, punk rocker or just Mike can Mike have different trousers and t-shirt let's have a look let's see if we can customize Mike so let's put Mike into the scene of the girls bedroom this will make more sense once we have another character in, in the uh, scene here um, <laughs> so don't get any ideas okay so here's our character in scene 
that's pretty cool. Right now, let's look for a female character as well. So we have a cowgirl, a punk rocker. Let's go for the punk rocker. Punk rocker in with Tony. Maybe we can change her hair later on. And uh, it's getting very interesting now. What? What? Which? Just Mary. This is Mary. So Mary is also here too. I think we'll switch the punk rocker with Mary. I think that makes sense. Okay, so we've got Mary and Tony. <laughs> right, so now just for... Uh, we've got what we need in our scene. We're now going to... For now, just get rid of the browser. Because we won't need the browser too much right now. Just experimenting with what we can do in scene. You can't see Tony underneath. We're going to open up the inspector. Right, and you want to go into the title inspector. So at this point, we can now customize Mary. Right, so we can actually, there's quite a few things you can do. You can do an auto lip sync, uh, which is basically if there's a character that can talk and your character talks, you can actually get the mouth to move uh, um, and, and lip sync to your audio, um, which is really, really cool. You can change the hair as well. Uh, default gestures, um, so angry, answering, cheering, clapping, dancing, drunk, <laughs> confused, hang shake right, hang shake left, there's a lot of animations here, there's quite a few things to have a look with, the Harlem shake, <laughs> that's, that's hilarious, the Harlem shake, uh, hugging, high five, jogging, lean, listening, pointing, pointing two, pointing three, propose, reading a book, reading, running, sad walking, say high five, sneaking, sitting, Let's do sitting. Is she going to be sitting? Yeah, let's get her to... Is she, is, is she sitting? <laughs> right, so there we go. Oh, there's an actual... Is there a seat? She got a seat now. Oh, this this looks... This She needs to... Uh, <laughs> it's a weird position. Okay, so we're going to move her around. Um, let's see if you can do an on-screen transformation. So we're going to give the on-screen controls for a transformation here. We're gonna see if it moves Mary or if it moves everything entirely. Let's have a look sometimes. That can happen. No, it moves Mary alone, which is absolutely brilliant. That's great. She actually gets a chair when you um, uh, give your character the sitting animation, which is brilliant. Now let's go back to the titles. Title Inspector. Right, what else can we do? We can change her hair. So we've got long curly hair. We've got ponytail. We've got uh, a, a bouffant. What's a bouffant? A, a bouffant, a bouffant, a bouffant, um, we, we're gonna go with long curly hair, right, so we'll be able to change our hair later on, that'd be really cool, glasses, mm, maybe not, okay, so what else have we got, we've got select accessories, we've got uh, astronaut backpack, backpack, guitar, gun, katana, necklace, pom-pom, <laughs> uh, respirator, scarf, scuba tank, slayer bandana, um, steel ball, stethoscope, suitcase, or toolkit. What? <laughs> okay, so there's quite a lot to choose from and select from here. Um, I'm going to leave out the animations. Uh, the Sorry. I'm going to leave out the uh, accessories for now. We're going to go for facial expressions. So facial expressions, which ones have we got? We've got happy, flashing. Not sure what a flashing facial expression is. <laughs> Amazed. Uh, angry, arrogant, cry, drunk, um, sad, sleep, thinking, thinking, thinking would be brilliant. So we have a thinking. Um, uh, yeah, it should be thinking. We've got a uh, select skin, zombie, zombie two, or avatar. <laughs> so you can actually change your skin to uh, reflect. <laughs> uh, let's go to default. And let's, uh, let's play with some skin colours, so we can change her skin colour slightly now. But one thing I normally love to do is if I've got a picture of somebody, you can actually select their skin tone by using the colour picker and then, and then select the colour. We're not going to do that right now. Um, after that point, we are going to change, we can change the eye colour right now to blue, blue is brilliant. Let's change that to a slightly blue-grey colour, maybe. Um, outfit. So this, this needs to be like a black, she needs to be... Victoria's Secret wearing black makes more sense uh, for the skin tone that she has. Then we can change her hair colour. Uh, let's go for a nice shot ball red. 
because uh, we want her hair red. There we go, roughly about probably a bit more red than that if we can if we can get her. If it can play. Are we playing right now? There we go, just go with a really deep red first. Wow! Okay, so it's got a slight hue to it, it's sort of that's orange. But it's like it's I've selected the red. Um so we're gonna move deeper into the red zone here. <laughs> and, and maybe uh, bring down the the lumosity of that <laughs> it has a slight hue to it so that's a nice that's a nice red that's a nice red head um, cool so there's quite a few things we can mess around with there um, logo I don't know what the, the, the logo insert is for just yet uh, you can see that we've now made a character sit put them in the scene we've got another character and we're gonna now mess around with the second character which is Mike and um, so we're gonna flip the character for one but Mike face in the other way um, then of course uh, you can actually scale these characters as well we've got hairstyles so different hairstyles we've got fringe up we've got frizzy let's go for frizzy is that roughly is that close to <laughs> is that close to where we're at Anthony Allen uh, beard and mustache what have we got we've got a short boxed I'm not that and uh, I shave a lot more than that we've got a sheriff <laughs> uh, make out bandit what's a make out bandit yeah that's, that's kind of that's kind of close um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say. I'd say I'm more of a goatee, a, more of a goatee kind of guy. Um, but you get, you get the idea here. There's, there's a lot of different things you can add to your character. Of course, you can change the skin tone again. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to select a brown first. Yeah, that's actually that's pretty accurate. Let's let's try and bring it down just slightly. A little bit darker you can see a bit of lumosity in the skin there as well a bit of shine on the character i like the way the characters are animated in terms of that now we're going to give our character an animation 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 let's have a look and see what we've got we've got jesters right now so we've got angry answering answering See, he looks like he's nervous. He's he's always oh, answering a phone, right? Okay. Leaning, running, sad walking, swimming, sitting, talking. It's going to be talking. Great work. Right. So let's go for the clothes. Is there anything we can change about the clothes? So our clothes here with this character. I think it's literally. I think it's more of the colours of the clothes that you can change. Uh, in terms of that, we'll go for a, a nice white, as I'm uh, wearing white most of the time in my YouTube videos. So now we're going to have a look and see what this looks like. So we're going to make sure first that everything matches up. I'm going to get rid of the... Oh, she's leaning now. Um, <laughs> look at his eyes. Um, we're going to render these elements. Um, so you can already see that there's... there's It animates into the scene. So we're going to go render, in, render selection. Of course, we can change the background as well, change the colours of the background. You can see everything rendering now. Um, and I'm going to show you what this looks like once it's rendered. Brilliant stuff. Now, this is exactly the reason why I said that we'll be working with a few elements as opposed to a template structured storyboard which is already made pre-made for us to begin with because it can take up a lot of cpu usage when you're working with layered animations so what i tend to do when i'm working with animation is i'll make a few animations in block chunks export them as video and then use that in a final cut pro 10 project reason why is because it saves a lot of stress on your cpu it makes it a lot more easier to make a beginning middle and end as this has a lot of less strength on your CPU and rendering therefore you're saving time rendering and focusing more time on the creative process which is what I like to do I like to focus on the creative process so we can create something awesome and this plugin is absolutely brilliant and this is the way that I like to do it I like to create a scene first once I've created the one scene I'll export
export that put that in as a video and then we'll start on the next scene so now i've shown you just a little bit of this plugin i want to know what your thoughts are of course i've only shown you two characters and one environment and i've shown you how to import them into the timeline we've had a brief look at how we can customize some of these characters and we've also had a look at what it looks like once you've animated the characters into the scene it's very easy to change things around with your characters and there's a lot that you can do so before we're done with today's video of course i'm going to create something and you're going to see it as a result at the end of this video but what i came to understand when working with this plugin is there's so much to go around that we'll be coming back to this plugin a lot so we'll be using this plugin and looking at more transitions more different characters more animations different types of templates and more so hit subscribe and give us a thumbs up as well before we're done here today so let's show you what i've created with the brightly plugin right now so you can see the story unfold and just a little bit of the potential of this plugin do not forget guys that this plugin can be found in the description down below click that link in the description down below to find this plugin today you can now create animations within final cut pro 10